everyone, it's your boy Double Four Anime. Of course, always starting off, we got the uh, the normy stuff here. You are going to be the death of me. Please cooperate. One Punch Man Volume 4 and 5. I, I was two volumes behind, and I've been getting back into One Punch Man now, so I uh, when I saw these there, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I might as well just go for it. Of course, I'm back into the series because of the anime. Not because the anime is good. Quite the opposite. The anime is so bad that I'm like, man, I, I, I gotta read this manga again. Anyway, I'm all caught up on the English release now, and they have the... Uh, the rest of the new chapters in the uh, digital vault, so uh, who knows, maybe I'll, I'll just catch up with the whole thing. But yeah, One Punch Man's a great series, very, very strong satire on Shonen Battle manga, so if you read a lot of those, you'll probably uh, really appreciate this series, and also has some of the, some of the best art ever. While we're on the topic, we also have uh, Mob Psycho 100 Volume 2. Dark Horse, of course, slowly but surely releasing these, uh, and I love this series. I think it's even better than One Punch Man. I mean, obviously, this is one's art here, not Murata's, so it's, you know, looks a bit jank, but I think Think that that's part of the fun and unlike the uh, the new one punch man content this has one of the best uh, anime adaptations ever so you know that's a plus dr stone volume 4 here not much else to say i've talked at nauseum about how much i love this series how great it is highly recommend it on that note i also picked up the promised neverland volume 9 but i can't show it to you right now because i lent all of my volumes to a friend who wanted to uh, read them after the anime aired so i did pick it up don't worry i'll probably show it off in, in the next video Oh, that, that wasn't supposed to happen. I was going to do like a fun bit where I slid them all down and it sync with the music, but uh, eh. Anyway, I finally caught back up with uh, My Hero Academia. We have a volume 12, volume 13, volume 14, volume 15. I had to say, before before we get into that shit, uh, all of these covers are fucking ugly. I swear to God, this series has like the most inconsistent cover. Actually, no, I Probably One Piece. But One Piece has some pretty ugly covers too, but this, like, 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 what am I looking at here? Why? Well, like, we have cool art in the background, and then we just have, like, um, Midoriya and Bakugo just, like, pasted on. They're like a sticker, like, they got this weird white outline. Like, like, what is this? This cover would be so cool, but, like, <laughs> and this one, <laughs> this one's just close up on, uh, Midoriya's face. What? Now, I know Horikoshi does this a lot. So I really want to believe, if I just grab this here, that this is a, uh, a nod towards Attack on Titan Volume 15, which has the same fucking cover. But then, thankfully, of course, we have Volume 16, Volume 17, and Volume 18, which have awesome covers, especially this one. Like, this this looks so fucking sick. Yeah, so I was behind on My Hero for quite a while. We have the uh, license exam arc and the internship arc here, all completed. All that's out in English feels very good. This continues to be a really good series. The current chapters in the manga have been really, really good. Even though the past year wasn't all that exciting for it, it's really, really picking up again. So yeah, continues to be one of my favorites. Definitely recommend it. Oh yeah, it's free comic book day. Alright. So we got Go Fish. Now Go Fish is pretty wild. Uh, of course I've I'd always heard about it, but I never knew just how deep the Go Fish lore was. Like this is some pretty pretty existential shit right here. And I wasn't really aware how massive the uh, the cinematic universe was. Like, if we just come back here, like, I found some crazy shit. Look, here we go. We have fucking Cthulhu. Cthulhu is in the Go Fish universe. That's that's absolutely insane. Not only do we have that, but we, all, we have Panda vs. Alien. All these guys, you know, all your favorites, I had no idea they were all connected. We have the, uh, the Steam Engines of Oz. And most importantly, which blew my mind, we have Pixies. That's right, the uh, the Academy Award winner, Pixies, is part of the Go Fish universe. You know, of course, it has Christopher Plummer. It was recommended by Stan Lee himself. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Go Fish is truly something special. We got the, uh, the Descendants comic here, you know, Tokyo Pop coming back, uh, bringing, us, bringing us what we love, those shitty Disney comics. Descendants is a, uh, is a very interesting film series directed by the... Uh, the man who who also directed High School Musical, who's uh, who's way older than you would probably expect. You know, it, it's it's all all the good shit. I can't wait for the uh, Descendants three coming out this summer. Yeah, Riverdale got a new free comic this year. Continues to be probably the best television show ever made. But there is hope, a queen to lead you into the light. Hark, there she be. We got some Pokemon here, it's like a double feature. We got like a new one based on the recent movie where Pikachu fucking talks. No, not that one, the other, you know, the other one. It's because... What the fuck? 
We also have a sample of Pokemon Adventures, which is, you know, it's like 20 years old now, but I guess, you know, whatever. Picked up this weird Avengers comic. I, I did not think they even made these anymore. Like, like it's the who gives a shit. And the only one I actually cared about picking up was the uh, the new My Hero one. They did one last year. They didn't pick the best chapter to show off, in my opinion. This one's pretty cool, though. I want to imagine that this is someone's, like, first time ever seeing anything My Hero related. They open it up, and this is the first fucking thing they see. That's, that's amazing. Anyway, cool sample chapter here. This was also really well done in the anime. Uh, and we also have some uh, Promised Neverland. We got fucking, uh, we got some Phil in here. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, motherfucking Phil. All right, of course, time for the uh, the intermission, where we show off uh, some video games. Only got two this time. We have uh, Until Dawn. On, uh, which is an interesting game. If you like cheesy horror films, like kids going out in the woods and all getting murdered, and interactive like movie type games, I would highly recommend this. It's pretty great if you're looking for that type of thing. It has a pretty easy platinum trophy. I got it in a couple days. Um, otherwise though, it's probably not for you. Then we also have Tearaway Unfolded, which is a remake of Tearaway, which was on the Vita originally. This kind of flew under the radar when it came out, even though it is from Media Molecule, which is, you know, they're, they're a pretty important studio. And I, I, I'm about halfway through. I have to say, it's really, really good. It surprised me with just how good it was. I mean, I love Media Molecule. I was confident that it would be good. But it, it's just so much fun, so creative. Very, very underrated game. I would highly recommend Tearaway Unfolded if you like uh, 3D platformers. All right, time to enter Chad mode. Here we have uh, Full Metal Alchemist, the first Full Metal edition. Nice, sexy, hard cover of the, uh, the beloved series. Of course, Full Metal Alchemist being one of my favorite manga of all time and oh man oh man are these are these sexy now i wasn't actually planning on getting these it's just because i already own the full series and because i get so much manga and don't have much money i, I kind of just want to prioritize getting new stuff but this was actually a gift from apollo gray that's right he 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 does have a generous side um the one thing i will say though and this is honestly the biggest reason why i didn't pick up these volumes I don't like how they feel, if I'm being honest. I mean, yeah, the outside is, is completely stunning. It looks, it looks so beautiful. But I just don't like how these pages feel. You know, they're good quality, but uh, they, they're all glossy and weird. And I don't know, I could probably get used to it, but you know, I, I think I preferred reading the singles, honestly. Though, if you've never read Full Metal Alchemist before, I mean, the, these, these are still pretty damn good. Blade of the Immortal, Episode 8 to The Last Jedi. We're up. Uh, we're, we're getting close to the end here, and I'm very, very excited. I think by the end of the year we'll have them all, and I, I do want to uh, keep reading this series because it's very good. And I have to commend Dark Horse, man. You know, for all the shit we give them, this is still a, uh, a really, really good quality volume right here. Speaking of great quality, we, of course, also have uh, 20th Century Boys, the, the third omnibus. I'll probably read this soon. I might want to wait for just, like, one or two more to come out. But yeah, as you know, I'm a huge Urasawa fan based on everything I've read so far. These look super good. I hear nothing but good things about the series. Good shit, can't wait. I fucking dropped the volume. I dropped the volume and it bended. I'm so upset. I try to be so careful. I'm so careful with my volumes, you guys. But anyway, we have Fruits Basket, Collector's Edition, Volume 1 and Volume 2. These are the uh, two-in-ones of Fruits Basket released by Yen Press. For those who don't know, back in the day, uh, Tokyo Pop released these, of course. We all know how that ended up, and then a few years ago, uh, Yen Press uh, released the full series. And these, uh, decent quality volumes. They're not anything to write home about. They're, they're nowhere near as good as, like, the 20th Century Boys or whatever. But it's decent. I like the uh, matte cover. We also have some pretty cool uh, cover pages, you know. You know, good good shit. I really love Fruits Basket from what I've read. I've been, like, slowly reading this along with uh, watching the new anime. It's very, very good. Now, these covers were made years after the fact, so it, it is kind of weird going back to, like, that super old art style that I don't even think the mangaka really likes anymore. But, you know, I, re I really enjoy me some good uh, furry romance. I'll probably be slowly collecting these as I read it with the anime, but I am really looking forward to eventually owning it all. So there you have it. These are all of my uh, recent pickups. I, I forgot to mention this earlier, but shout out to my boy Mineta here on the spine of volume 15 really makes up for that lackluster cover. So that'll do it. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know some of the stuff that uh, you've recently picked up and I will see you guys very soon because it's finally time for the 50th review. Now, if you don't watch my review and you didn't hear it with the first time I mentioned it, I will be taking a uh, about a six week break after uh, the 50th review comes out just so I can focus on my final semester. It'll probably be another while before the next pickups video, but I hope you all still look forward to it and I will see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.